All right, so guys, uh, we just came back from ARD Vegas. I placed top 16, uh, 13th after Swiss. Um, I couldn't get into top eight, but I came up with this top 16 mat. Um, the the circuits are top 16, so I got the invite and this mat. Um, my tiebreakers weren't good enough, unfortunately, to get into top eight, which I already would knew, which I already probably wouldn't knew, uh, no, because um, I, I give away some game, a uh, game that I shouldn't have. Uh, round one, I played against Chaos. Uh, I lost one, two. Game three, I, I could have won. I just forgot to unflip my damage with the G guard. I would have had a red, uh, restanding title enough to, I had a restanding title to kill the game with, but I just won with a vanilla Alexandros, which cost me. Uh, round two, I played against Purdo, too old it. Round three, I played against Chaos, too old it. Round four, I played against Sukiyomi, I too old it. Um, <sighs> round five, I played against Purge, I too old it. And then round six, I actually ended up losing to uh, Dom. He played Purge. He won two. Uh, I lost one two. Uh, game one, he double crit me. Game two, he got gray locked, and I uh, I punished him. And then game three, um, it just I overextended, and then uh, he he punished me for it, and I lost. Um, a lot of control matchups, but let's get into the deck. <sighs> so. For starter, I played Mitros. I just think it's the best starter because like not he basically gives you like two attacks with the new Thavis and it gets you a fodder for next turn. So just run Mitros as a starter. Um so we run four of the new Thavis. Um this card is just broken, especially like now off Mitros because yeah, you can call it basically fourth wave or first wave swing swing twice. So you can basically just do like get two attacks off Mitros and then returns to hand. And then also now it's really good against Medcom because it gives you an attack from the back row and Link Joker. And then it also gives a card resist, so it, it can just shut down Denial and um, Gear Chronicle in one turn. And then we run uh, four, oh, three Old Thavis. This card really does nothing. Even even against like Rear Guard based decks, you kind of still don't want to ride it. New Thavis is pretty much better than this. But that ends it off at seven threes. I didn't want to run um, Skyros because you need like the Bobbis name. So yeah. And then for the grade twos, um, for Adeline, really don't know why you wouldn't run this. This card is just really stupid. Uh, attacking a rear guard, then uh, and then uh, abusing it of Alexandros to get two more attacks. It's just nutty. And this card, like, it obviously wins a lot of games. And then four title assault. A lot of people want to cut this, but early game, this card is just way too strong. After early game, this, this card's actually, I feel like it's not as strong unless you're playing against Link Joker because you can't really unflip your damage against Link Joker. You have to save that specifically for lock cards. So this, this card just carries you so hard against Link Joker. It just puts in the nuts, man. Um, I still don't, uh, the only bad part is that it loses 5k itself, but other than that, it's still a really good card. And then four of this card, I really don't know name, but has resist and then wave two to four, draws your card and it's 11k. I like to put this in the back row and just abuse it and just draw cards off of it. Like I'm trying to draw a lot of cards with this deck. Uh, so yeah, while r rushing and draw drawing cards is just insane. And then four fodder because we only run uh, seven grade three, so you need four fodder, four Play-Doh, um, uh, unflip. We don't really have a good PG to run, so I'm just trying to flip. Uh, for Madeline, I actually, uh, actually didn't want to run this card. It was at two, and then I cut it, and then before it went, I put it back to four. It just helped out so much in the Link Joker matchup. Uh, basically, just another clone of the Grade Two has resist, and you just draw a card third war, third more wave, and it gets plus five K. So I usually like to just put it in the back row behind my Vanguard against like Link Joker and just abuse the draw. Uh, this card's really strong, and like if you don't draw grade twos, you can put it in the front row, and it's still strong. And then for Aritha, I mean two Aritha, this card's actually really good. I had it at four, but I cut it down to two just because it only comes out in certain situations. The card's really like just really strong when you have a restander, when you put a restander from it. So like New Thavis, Tidal, or Adeline, with that just getting four attacks is just insane. Like this card's just really good, and it also has resist. I'm trying to run as many resistions as possible. Triggers, Force of Sonic Sailor. This card is just. This card is actually really good. At first, I thought it was overpriced, but like you really do need this in this deck, especially against Link Joker, because like I said, you can't use a G guard to unflip the damage, so you have to use like just this. And this card is overpriced, but you still run it because Soul is important. And then you are running a combo space deck, so you run for a draw, and it does go into a Soul. So, yep. And then for G-Guard, um, well, for Heal, sorry. 
And uh, you do want to run this because it unflips. So, yeah. And for the G zone, uh, three Alexandros. This card just does a lot. Like this deck's so abusable and so versatile. Um, you can just abuse the new G guard with this. You could uh, like there's just so much you can do. Like and like usually Aqua Force like it still has a problem where like the later the game goes, the worse the deck is. But this makes up for that because like the later the game goes, the stronger this gets. You don't need four because you can flip anything. But this card is nuts. But you can you can run four if you want to. And then four of this, uh, I probably should cut this down to two, but you, you have so much space because of Alexandros, everything's pretty much just flip water. But this card actually, I actually kind of think this card sucks. I probably just cut it down to, you know, I don't really, I don't really go into this. I'll probably go into it against like Joker, but that card kind of sucks. One Wailing, it's never came up at the event, but it's a really good card. You, you still, you still run Wailing. And then... On this flood hazard, this card actually won me like two games. This is like against like Link Joker and another control deck where they just kill your field, and this just gives you quad drive GV3, and you just like you just crack them to death and win. This card is just it's pretty cheesy. And then one ZR, trying to get myself the best position to win as possible. I didn't think I'd run ZR, but it comes up, especially in this deck. You probably don't need it in other um, water clan water decks, but this one you do. And then Sea Breeze, Sea Breeze. I usually just go into it against Link Joker because they don't want to give me first try, but other than that, I really don't go into it. And then the G Guards, one of this, just 10k first wave. It's just good when you don't have a PG and you just want to shut down their Vanguard and at least make it two to pass. And then one of this, this actually probably won't come up yet. Uh, it didn't come up in the tournament, but it'll, it'll be super relevant against my colony, so run this. I'm trying to keep a column so they won't can't stand a whole column. And then two of this, this card was MVP all day. I was abusing this like left and right, left and right. Like not only does this like, it's just like so clutch against Link Joker, but it's so clutch in like every matchup. Like a smart player will will bait you and not give you as many counter blasts and they think you don't have a play, but then you just have this and you just still nut on them. This card was just insane all day. It was definitely the MVP. It's probably the best card in the deck. And then one of this, it never comes up, but it, this this would be more relevant against Matt Colony. This card's really good. So for the shout outs, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, all my teammates who came out. Uh, Nikki, Nikki actually also top. He got into top eight. Um, Jake, <sighs> and I'd like to give a shout out to Axel and uh, John. And then um, I'd like to give a shout out to George, who was also there playing Dragon Ball um, with his team. Uh, I know the Dragon Ball guys are pretty good. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor, Pro Play Games Ultra Pro, and then people who helped me test Zane, um, you know Bryant, and then Matt who gave me the ride and. Uh, Everybody at DJs, you know. All right, thank you.